Hello, my friends. Hey, guys, and welcome to Glorious Day Adventures. So today we are doing a different type of video. Um, we're doing a review video. We don't normally do those. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't think we've ever really done a product review right, video. Right, right. But uh, we were reached out by a company called Set Power. And uh, they, they make, were, yeah. Yeah, they make um, portable 12-volt, uh, 24-volt refrigerators, freezers. And we've been looking for one for a long time, but they're just so expensive. So when Set Power reached out, they said, hey, we've got a budget-friendly version. Would you like to review it if we send you one? And we said, absolutely. Um, primarily because we think that we have a lot of um, people that, well, people we know that would also like a 12 volt, 24 volt refrigerator freezer, but don't want to spend the money. Right, right. So um, we just unboxed it, but I mean, our first impression is it's, it's pretty good quality. Um, I, yep. I do want to say this is used primarily, people use it in their car for road trips. You can use it camping overlanding yeah um what are some other i you could use any place you have power like like in florida right so hurricane oh, hurricanes, season yep um so we have various ways to power it via generators or a battery bank that kind of stuff and uh, so it seemed to be a good fit for our lifestyle right so we and thought it can we'd plug do... into the car too in a cigarette lighter yes so um anyway this particular model is the aj50 um it's the aj series from set power they got a bunch of different series that do different things um, but it's the AJ50 because it's a 50 liter um, refrigerator or freezer. It's one or the other, depending on the temperature you set. Uh, they have a 40 liter and a 30 liter. And the cool thing is, dimension wise, footprint wise, they're all the exact same mm -hmm. footprint. They're just shorter or taller based on the volume size you get. So. And if you watch our videos, you know we like to eat, so we always bring a lot of food. So we said, well, let's get the biggest the one. The biggest one, you send us the biggest one you so, got. So footprint, like we said, is about the same. It's just taller, so yep. it gets shorter as you go less um, less liters. Yeah, and footprint is um, about 13 and a half inches wide, about 27 and a half inches long, and just over 20 inches high for the biggest one. Yeah. Um, so it's really not that big, but the volume is pretty great. Um, and it uh, has a lot of cool features that we think we'll use depending on the condition. So it has a couple different modes. It has max mode. I want to get it cold. I want to get it cold quick. Um, so if you're like using the AC adapter that is, they send you, you can put it max mode. You can cool it down real quick. Or they have eco mode, which is maybe it's already cold and I'm plugged into my battery bank and I want to just keep just it cold. Keep it cold right. um, 12 volt adapter and put it in eco mode. Um, it does go from zero to, I don't know if we said this already, zero to 50 degrees. Yes. Um, so if you want it, like like he said, if you wanted a freezer, you put it at zero. If you wanted a refrigerator, um, it does have two different compartments in it. Yep. We, if you want to open it. I'll open it and we'll, we'll do some like B-roll so you can actually look in. But um, there's two different compartments. But really, again, it's either a refrigerator or a freezer. It's not both. Um, it can function as one or the other. Uh, there is one section that's about 10 degrees cooler, which is right above the compressor. Um, and there's a big basket here, so you can put your food in here. You can take it out, you can close that, keep the cold air in, and then put your basket back in that has your food in it, which is pretty cool. And there is a divider um, in that basket. That, this noise sounds great. I know, <laughs> right? Let's stop moving it. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but it's kind of cool, that divider, you can kind of separate maybe drinks on one side and food on the other. Um, um, but it does have a light. There is an LED light as well. So when you have it powered on and you open it up, it does give you some light so you can see in there. Yeah, and there is a, a little chart in here just giving you some ideas of temperatures for various kinds of products from food to drinks. Um, and then there is also a really cool sticker in here. If you happen to get an error code, hopefully we don't, hopefully you won't. Um, but if you do get an error on the code, um, this will tell you what, it's, what that error is. So that's nice that you don't have to find a manual someplace. It's actually on the lid, which is pretty cool. Um, so, um, one Wait. thing it's, well, oh, oh. you got something? Well, I, I wanted to say this one, I, we didn't say how heavy it was. I oh, can, yeah. I haven't put any food in it yet, but as dry, it's 33 pounds. 33 pounds. And uh, it's got these nice handles. So I was able to pick it up and carry it around. Um, obviously this is the larger one. So. Yeah. Um, and that, that's saying something. It's I know. Cause I'm not very strong. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so one thing about this um, particular unit is it's really good for overlanding because mm -hmm. most refrigerators you really have to be level. So once you first get it, you do need to leave it level for a while so the refrigerant can get you know where it needs to be before you turn it on. Uh, so we've not turned it on yet. We'll do that here in a little bit because we're getting ready to 
go on a road trip um, and want to get it cooled down for that road trip so we can toss it in the back of my truck. Yep. Um, but once it's cold and you're out there doing your thing, you can actually have it on up to a 40 degree slope. Mm -hmm. So if you're going up and down hills, no worries about it being in the back of your vehicle. If you're not camped on, you know, perfectly flat land, who cares? No big deal because you can actually have a 40 degree slope and it's just fine. And I think that's a really big deal. Um, I'm not sure. We haven't looked at a lot of other ones in, in that much detail, but I think that's a really big deal for, for a refrigerant because, like you said, you normally have to keep it. Nice and level. Um, and even though it is a, a budget conscious, um, you know, freezer refrigerator, it's not nearly the price of a Dometic or some of those really high end units, um, they give you a really good warranty. So the compressor has a three year warranty and the rest of the unit has a one year warranty. So, um, so that says a lot. Yeah. Giving it a good warranty means that they, they believe it's going to last. And um, so really happy with that. And other than that, I think that's all the specs, but we're right. going to go um, plug it in. We're going to bring it in into some shade area. It is. We're, it's hot. It's Florida. <laughs> we're I'm Florida. sweating. It's probably almost 90 degrees today, <laughs> 85, 90 degrees. So we, uh, we're going to plug oh, it in. You know what we didn't do? What? We didn't talk about price. <gasps> We, talked it, we said it was budget friendly, we but did. we didn't. Right, so um, we mentioned three sizes. This is the AJ50. It's the largest of this series, and it's 319 bucks. Currently. Um, currently. You can get it on Amazon or on the Set Power website. Yep, so I mean, 300 bucks, you can't go wrong. And uh, down to the smallest one, which is a 30 liter, which is 199 bucks. Yep. Um, so again, if you're looking for budget conscious DC refrigerator freezer, it really seems to check all the boxes. And they do have a true dual zone if you did want. It's just different series um, where it has the two different compartments, you know, that one's a freezer, one's yeah. a fridge, and you have the two doors. So there is a lot of different options that they offer. This is just the one they sent us. Yep. So, so we're going to plug this into AC power using the AC adapter. We're going to put this bad boy on max, and we're going to see how long it takes to cool down. Yeah. Let's go do it. All right, come on. We are in the shade, and I am very grateful because I'm a sweaty mess. Yes. Uh, we live in Florida, and it's, it's like just... like 90 degrees outside today, so... It's crazy hot. So it's going to be a good test to see how quickly the temperature drops um, on the set power. We're going to set it to max cooling and 37 degrees. I do have it plugged into the AC power uh, of the house with the AC adapter. And uh, so we're going to get this thing turned on yeah. and see how long it takes to cool down. All right. So let's turn it on. It's already in max mode. So it's... There you go. So it was 70 degrees. We turn it to 37. It's 70 right now. And, uh, and yeah. What time is it? It's 11.30 on the dot. All right. Listen how quiet that is. Yeah, it's really quiet. I mean, you can hear it. Obviously, it's a compressor. It's a fan, but that's really quiet. Yeah, so... We'll see how long it takes to get down to 37. Oh, it went up one. Oh, Oops. <laughs> going the <laughs> wrong, wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back when it's, uh, when it's down to 37. So we told you that we would tell you how long it took to get down to 37 degrees. We don't know. <laughs> we, uh, we went in, we ate lunch, we came back out 32 minutes later. And look at this. It's it was already 37. 37. <laughs> so I don't know if it took 25, 28. But it was definitely less than 30 minutes. Yeah, so it's kind of like dominoes, 30 minutes or less. <laughs> What's cool though is it actually did go up in temperature from, it went up to like 78 before it started going down. Yeah. Just because it's so hot out here. Yeah. And, and uh, so it went from really 78 to 37 in less than 30 that's, minutes. That's an, and that's in outside in yeah. like 90 degree weather. Right. If we had it inside where it's cooler, it would probably, have been a lot yeah. Quicker. So, so let's open it up. I want right. to, I want to feel it. It's, oh, it's oh, the cool. Side, it's frosty. Yeah, the sides are like a metal. Yep. And then that's cooler and over there. And light. Your light. Pretty great. All right. Nice job. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to take a lot longer. Me than that, too, honestly. but yeah, that was quick. So. All right, that's really, really cool. I love it. We were so impressed with how fast the set power went from like 77 to 37 that we thought, let's see how long it takes to go from 37 to zero. And we stayed out here so we would know exactly this time. <laughs> we did. We were looking at our watches. Any guesses? Any guesses? All right. All right. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Exactly. So it took a little longer than, than it did the first half. Yep. But, but look at that. Zero so from, degrees. From 37 to zero. Spider. Took 40 minutes. Oops. I was impressed too. <laughs> so I'm going to open it up and see how cold it is. Okay. Now. I bet it's zero degrees. I bet it is too. <laughs> Whew. It is chilly. Is it? Yeah, definitely. 
Nice. Yeah, that's impressive. So that's if you wanted it all as a freezer. Right. Look at that, Very zero nice. degrees. Definitely impressive. So we decided to give it a quick test on 12 packs of soda. For capacity. And, yep, and if you're having a party even, and you wanted to have like four different kinds of soda, you could leave them in the 12 pack and they stand up in there perfectly vertically. Right, that's only two of them. You could easily fit another two 12 packs. We just went ahead and removed the... Uh, the wire basket. Right, just because it took up a little bit of space, but that's great. Yeah, use it inside. Right. Doesn't need to be out camping. Nope. It's got lots of uses. Good morning. It is road trip time. Yay. So we got about an eight hour road trip we're taking and uh, we've got the set power loaded up in my truck. We pre-cooled it last night um, and there it is. It opens up perfect so we can get inside of it. Not much in it yet. We're getting ready to load it up. Um, but the uh, set power is currently not on because my truck's not running and don't want to drain the battery. So it's still cold because we did pre-cool it like we said. So we're going to load it all up, turn the truck on and hit the road. Let's go. All right, we stopped at Wawa. Got that some sandwiches, sandwiches for later. Going in the cooler. We usually stop at fast food, so this is kind of neat to uh, just be able to put some sandwiches in and not have to stop for food later. Right. Save us some money and save us some time. It's all and good. And eating better than fast food. <laughs> yes, that would be good. So we're all loaded up. All right, guys, it is time for lunch. It is. And we are so glad that we have this refrigerator because and the sandwiches and well and the sandwiches that we got them this morning because look at this there is nothing on this road for like the next hour and a half there's just nothing <laughs> so we would have been hungry without this yeah. refrigerator very true so uh, we're gonna grab some sandwiches and think we wanted to thank set power again for sending us this cooler yep. or not cooler it's a refrigerator, refrigerator. I'm so yes. used to we always have had coolers yes and um, so we're on this one day road trip and ours is the biggest one in this series, 50 liter, but for like a one day road trip, a two day road trip, a smaller one would be perfect. It would be. Um, so there's going to be a link down below that um, will give you guys 12% off and we may use the exact same link to order a smaller one uh -huh, for us uh -huh. for like short road trips. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, like he said, it's a 12% discount, so it's already affordable. Yep. And now they're making it even more affordable. So use the link below for 12%. And uh, my stomach's growling. I know, <laughs> I gotta get him his sandwich. So we will catch you guys all on our next adventure. And we'll see you later. See you guys. Bye.